Hello everyone, welcome back to Conflict Skies and Steel. Right now, at this very moment, Israeli military commanders are facing a reality they never thought possible. Their most advanced stealth fighters, the pride of their air force, are being tracked, monitored, and potentially targeted by a weapon system so advanced it's rewriting the rules of modern aerial warfare. Deep in the Syrian desert, Russian forces have deployed something that has sent shockwaves through Tel Aviv and Washington alike. They call it the S-5, 100 Prometheus, but Israeli intelligence has given it a different name, Skynet. And what's happening in the skies over Syria right now could change the balance of power in the Middle East forever. The S-5, 100 isn't just another air defense system. It's a technological leap that military analysts compare to the difference between a hunting rifle and a laser-guided precision weapon. While the rest of the world was focused on headlines about ceasefires and diplomatic negotiations, Russia quietly moved pieces on the chessboard that Israel never saw coming. Intelligence reports that reached Israeli defense headquarters three months ago contained information so disturbing that emergency meetings were called at two in the morning. The reports detailed something unprecedented. Russian S-500 batteries deployed in Syria were successfully tracking F-35 stealth fighters during routine reconnaissance missions over Syrian airspace. These weren't just radar pings or lucky detections. The tracking was consistent, accurate, and sustained. For a stealth aircraft specifically designed to be invisible to enemy radar, this was nothing short of catastrophic. To understand why this matters, you need to understand what the F-35 represents. Israel has invested billions of dollars in these fifth-generation fighters, building their entire future air strategy around the assumption that stealth technology would give them an insurmountable advantage. The F-35 Adir, as Israel calls it, was supposed to be the aircraft that could penetrate any air defense system, strike any target, and return home undetected. Israeli pilots have flown these machines deep into hostile territory, confident in their invisibility. That confidence is now shattered. The S-5, 100 Prometheus, represents a quantum leap in Russian military technology while its predecessor, the S-400, was already considered one of the most capable air defense systems in the world, the S-5-100 operates on an entirely different level. This isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a fundamental reimagining of what air defense can achieve. The system can simultaneously track up to 500 targets and engage up to 10 of them at the same time. Its radar operates on multiple frequencies simultaneously, creating a detection net so dense that stealth technology, which works by deflecting radar waves at specific frequencies, becomes significantly less effective. Russian engineers have essentially created a radar system that doesn't just look for aircraft. It looks for the absence of returns, the subtle distortions in the electromagnetic spectrum, that betray the presence of stealth technology. What makes the S-5 hundred truly terrifying from Israel's perspective isn't just its ability to detect stealth aircraft, it's the range and altitude at which it can engage them. The system can track and destroy targets at altitudes up to 200 kilometers, essentially reaching into the edge of space. Its maximum engagement range extends to 600 kilometers, meaning S-5-100 batteries positioned in Syria can theoretically track and target aircraft deep inside Israeli airspace without those aircraft ever crossing into Syrian territory. This creates a strategic nightmare for Israeli military planners. Suddenly, Aircraft taking off from Israeli airbases are potentially vulnerable the moment they leave the runway. The entire concept of safe operational zones has been rewritten. But the threat doesn't stop with manned aircraft. Israel has become increasingly reliant on unmanned aerial vehicles for intelligence gathering and precision strikes. These drones, while sophisticated, are far easier to detect and destroy than stealth fighters. The S-5 
hundred system has demonstrated an almost casual ability to swat Israeli drones from the sky. Intelligence reports describe incidents where multiple drones were simultaneously engaged and destroyed within seconds of entering the detection envelope. For Israel, which has used drones as a cornerstone of its surveillance and strike capabilities, this represents a fundamental operational challenge. The psychological impact of the S-5 hundred deployment cannot be overstated. Israeli pilots who once flew with confidence now face the reality that they may be tracked throughout their entire mission. Mission planning has become exponentially more complex. Routes that were once considered safe now require complete reassessment. Altitude profiles, timing, electronic warfare support. Every aspect of air operations has been affected. Defense analysts in Tel Aviv are calling this the most significant shift in the regional balance of power since the introduction of precision, guided weapons. The timing of the S-500 deployment is particularly significant. Russia didn't just randomly decide to showcase its most advanced air defense system in Syria. This is a calculated move with multiple strategic objectives. First, it sends a clear message to Israel about the costs of continued airstrikes against Iranian linked targets in Syria. Second, it demonstrates to potential Russian weapons customers, and there are many, that Russian air defense technology has achieved parity or superiority over Western stealth technology. Third, it creates a buffer zone protecting Russian interests in Syria from any potential Israeli or American military action. The economic implications alone are staggering. Countries that were considering purchasing American F-35 are now questioning whether that investment makes sense if the S-5 hundred can negate their effectiveness. Inside the S-5 hundred system, the technological sophistication is breathtaking. The command center integrates artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that continuously adapt to new threats. The system doesn't just detect targets. It predicts their behavior, calculates optimal intercept solutions, and can even coordinate with other air defense systems to create layered defense networks that are virtually impenetrable. The missiles themselves represent cutting, edge technology with multi, mode seekers that can switch between radar, infrared, and even optical guidance mid, flight. This makes them incredibly difficult to fool with traditional countermeasures like chaff and flares. The performance characteristics of the S-5 hundred are genuinely revolutionary. While exact specifications remain classified, independent military analysts have pieced together a picture from various sources. The system can engage targets traveling at speeds up to 7 kilometers per second, fast enough to intercept hypersonic missiles and even certain types of spacecraft. The radar system reportedly operates with such sensitivity that it can detect objects with a radar cross, section as small as points, Euro, one square meters, significantly smaller than the radar signature of an F-35. During recent tests, S-5 hundred batteries successfully engaged simulated targets at ranges exceeding 500 kilometers, demonstrating precision that Western intelligence agencies described as unprecedented. The system's reload time is also remarkably short, allowing it to engage multiple waves of attacks without significant vulnerability periods. From a safety and operational perspective, the S-5 hundred incorporates multiple redundancies and autonomous capabilities that make it extremely difficult to disable or deceive. The system can operate in heavy electronic warfare environments, automatically switching frequencies and adapting its detection algorithms to compensate for jamming attempts. Each battery is designed to operate independently or as part of an integrated network, meaning that destroying one battery doesn't create a gap in coverage. 
other systems automatically adjust to maintain overlapping coverage zones. This resilience is exactly what makes the S-5 hundreds so problematic for Israeli military planners who are accustomed to being able to suppress enemy air defenses as a precursor to strike missions. What makes the S-5 hundred unique isn't just its individual capabilities, but how it changes the entire calculus of air warfare. For decades, Western military doctrine has been built on the assumption of air superiority the ability to control the skies and operate aircraft with relative freedom. The S-5 hundred fundamentally challenges that assumption. It creates zones of contested airspace where even the most advanced aircraft face significant risk. This forces military planners to rethink everything from mission profiles to aircraft procurement strategies. Israel now faces the prospect of operating in an environment where air superiority can no longer be assumed, where every mission carries risks that previously didn't exist. This isn't just a tactical problem. It's a strategic crisis that strikes at the heart of Israeli military doctrine. The price of developing and deploying the S-500 system is estimated to be in the tens of billions of dollars representing one of Russia's most significant military investments in recent decades. Each individual battery costs approximately $2 billion, making it one of the most expensive air defense systems ever created. But from Russia's perspective, the investment has already paid dividends. The deployment in Syria has effectively created a no-fly zone that protects Russian interests without requiring continuous fighter patrols. It has also generated enormous international interest, with countries from Turkey to India to Saudi Arabia expressing interest in purchasing the system. Russia has effectively turned a military deployment into a live, fire demonstration for potential customers, showcasing capabilities that no amount of marketing materials could convey. For Russia, the S-5-100 represents not just a military asset, but an economic and geopolitical tool of immense value. As we watch this situation unfold, the implications extend far beyond Syria and Israel. What's happening right now represents a fundamental shift in the global balance of military power. For the first time in decades, Western technological superiority in air warfare is being genuinely challenged. The stealth technology that has been the cornerstone of American and Allied air power since the 1990s is facing a counter, technology that may render it obsolete. This has enormous implications for defense planning, military procurement, and strategic calculations worldwide. Countries that invested billions in stealth aircraft are now questioning the wisdom of those investments. Nations that previously felt vulnerable to air attack now see an opportunity to level the playing field. The S-500 isn't just changing the situation in Syria. It's changing the entire landscape of modern warfare. Israeli commanders lying awake at night aren't just worried about one weapon system. They're worried about what it represents, about a future where the advantages they've relied on for decades may no longer exist. The fear isn't just about the S-5. Hundred itself, it's about what comes next, about a world where the technological edge that has guaranteed Israeli security is slipping away. And that fear, that fundamental uncertainty about the future, may be the most powerful weapon Russia has deployed. The skies over Syria have become a laboratory for the future of warfare, and the results of this experiment are sending shockwaves around the world. Thank you for watching Conflict Skies and Steel. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because this story is far from over.